Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another video. And this is one that I've been talking about doing for a while, and I just never got around to it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go with my disclaimer, because there's a lot of wet shavers out there who do not like cartridge razors. So I want to tell you that this is my favorite razor. It is the Mercure 34G. I love this razor. I love wet shaving. However, there are times where I have to go away on a day trip or fly to Sacramento on business or just I cannot bring this razor on the airplane with a blade. I can bring the razor. I can bring no blades unless you check them. And I don't know about you, but if you're going away for a day, I sometimes just have a backpack. So you have to bring a cartridge razor or don't shave. And then there's a lot of people out there, uh, like my father-in-law, he takes blood thinners. And uh, if he gets cut, oh man, he just doesn't stop. He almost needs crazy glue to close those wounds. But uh, he uses cartridge razors. He went back from DE razors to cartridge razors. So we're gonna do a little history lesson today. We're gonna talk about some vintage uh, cartridge razors. And you can still get inexpensive shaves with these vintage razors. So uh, 71, 1971, Gillette introduces the Track 2. And the Track 2 was a cartridge razor with a slide on cartridge. They made them until night or 2001. You could still get the uh, Track 2 in 2001. In 1977, the Atra razor was introduced. And the Atra razor was another Gillette cartridge razor that had a pivoting head. So these blades will not fit on the Track 2. Atra razor blades were completely separate. And that was probably a smart move on Gillette because now if you had two different razors, you still had to buy two different blades. If they were universal, you would only have to buy the one set. And Atra came in a couple of different colors. And in 19, was it uh, 85? So from 77 to 85, eight years, they came out with the Atra Plus. And the Atra Plus is basically the same razor, except the cartridge had an aloe lubricating strip on it. I don't know if you can see that in the picture behind, uh, which helped for a smoother shave. Now, my favorite razor, of course, uh, came out in 1990, actually 1993. Uh, the Sensor came out in 1990, and the Sensor XL came out in 1993. And I, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I use this a lot. Uh, I, I, the blades are just not as reasonable as the blades that you can get currently for the Track 2 and the Atra Razor. And you can always find vintage blades on eBay. But what this shave is going to do is I found you can go to Rite Aid and you can find these blades. And these, allegedly, I haven't opened it, fit the Track 2 razor and the Atra razor. Persona, I just bought 100 cartridges. Shipped $15 from Amazon. They are the Plus. I think these are the Plus 2. Yes, they have the uh, lubricating strips on. And allegedly, these fit both. So what I'm gonna to do today is a side-by-side -side shave. I'm gonna take two Atra razors. I'm gonna have two razors that are the same. It's mainly a blade comparison, right? This is to see if these inexpensive cartridge razor blades are even worth it. Because it's still a lot less expensive than the Mach 3. And the Mach 3 came out in 1998. So uh, 71, the Track 2 came out. 77, Atra came out. 85, Track 2 and Atra Plus with the lubricating strips came out. 90 was the Sensor, 93 was the XL, 98 the Mach 3 was introduced, and DE production of Gillette DE razors ended 1998. They still sold the blades, but no more razors. And in 2001, they were still making the Track 2, the Atra, the Sensor, and the Mach 3. So 30 years that doggone Track 2 went. So, I'm going to look at the Persona blades first. Now, I'm going to 
take the Atra cartridge, and by the way, these are reasonably priced on eBay right now. Now, after this video, they may go up. I don't know. So let's see if this works. There we go. Fits in the Atra. Pivoting head. The Persona fits in the Atra. Let's see if the Persona fits in the Gillette Track 2. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you know? So the Persona Plus fits in. That's not a pivoting head. But I'm going to, it's really a blade comparison, like I said, so I want to see you how these blades compare uh, shave wise. So let me open up the Rite Aid Renewal. I bought these online. You, you, you know, it's it, it, the reason I and my father ended up going to sensors and track twos is even though Gillette was still making blades, they weren't, you couldn't find them, you know, at least not in Huntington Beach, not where I live, uh, you know, over the years. And uh, I still can go into local Rite Aids and not find anything, but I've been in uh, San Antonio, and I went into some stores there, and I found, uh, was it silver blue? But uh, you find millions of different types of cartridge razors. So uh, all they had to do was squeeze us out, and then uh, couldn't get the blades. But now, because we didn't have the internet. Now we have the internet. You kids, you younger guys would not realize. We didn't have, we couldn't just order anything. Now I order them, and, you know, here it is in four days or three days. All right. Let me slide out this persona blade. I tell you one thing, it fits tight on that track too, handle. And let's try the Rite Aid brand. Renewal. All right. Let's see if she slides in. She slides in. So she definitely fits the track two. I know some of you guys, you still like the track two. And they're they're kind of cool. You can find some mint condition ones. All right, so this Atra, I'm gonna use the renewal blades in, and they just, mm -mm, that's it. Snap in, pivoting head. Good. So now let me pause, clear this off, and we're ready to do a side-by-side -side shave, see how these blades perform. All right. And just because you're using a cartridge still doesn't mean you can't do a wet shave, man. You can use your favorite. I'm going to use some Black Cherry Sterling today. Ah, it smells good. With the Omega. I goofed last time. I grabbed the Samogue. Flop. I grabbed the Samogue and I go, here is the Omega. No, here is the Omega. So I'm using the Omega. And I'm going to put it in the Crystal Skull. It's a bore brush. We're going to wet that bad boy. All right. Yeah, I guess it would be weird. Someone said, just yesterday, I got the email, and they're saying, hey, man, I, I'm having trouble with DEs on my, my head. I go, there's a lot of guys use DE. They use straight razors on their head. I go, you can get used to it. And he says, well, I just want an inexpensive cartridge. What do you think of the, uh, the Persona? Well, here we are. You know, and it wasn't because of him. I've been talking about the, doing this for a while. All right. By the way, I put this on airplane mode and do not disturb because right there, I got a call from a guy at work wondering if we're going to get furloughed. I said, well, how do I know, man? I'm at home. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. It's Friday at last, at least, and it's my Friday off. 980 schedule. I'm very, 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 very lucky that I can continue to work from home. A lot of people can't, and, and we have to get through this, man. We gotta get everybody back to work. I'm, I'm you know, very lucky, and, you know, my, my hearts go out to you guys. You know, all the, all the entertainment workers, the restaurant workers, the, I mean, Las Vegas is shut down. I mean, you know, the sports shut down. I mean, I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this in my lifetime. have to cut our own hair. I haven't yet, but 
sooner or later, I'm probably gonna have to. Now, since I've got this brush out, I do do this, but there's talk. You guys can comment. You wet shavers know that uh, if you do that, it can loosen up the bristles. So they say, I've had it happen. Haven't had it happen on all brushes. And one of the gents said, I notice you paint your face. Just an individual way of doing things. All right, I'm gonna use the persona on the right side of the face. So let's see. Some of the cartridges, not this one, like I think it's the Vector. Yeah, the uh, had one, but uh, they have a, a little lever that you can push and it clears out the bristles or your whiskers from uh, in between the blades. So far, very good. Oh, and I am, somebody asked, I am using this little, see, not beating it on the uh, countertop like my son did with my Mula R41. See, I like the pivot. See the pivot? You can see it pivoting. The Track 2 doesn't do that. Track 2 would be more of a, a DE feel with a fixed blade. It, it's all in the pressure of the handle, where this one is a little forgiving. I still take short passes. Yeah, she's filling up. There we go. Sometimes I do this. Actually, that aloe strip's working. <laughs> you can see the slime coming off that aloe strip. All right. Nice. I can feel it feels smooth, but I can feel some stubble this way, so we will do two passes, but now the right aid. Gonna be honest, right off the bat, this seems sharper. Oh yeah. I like these shaves where I've never done it before, side by side with these two blades. I don't think I've used the Persona blades. I've been buying the vintage Atras, but... See? Don't go that way. Come down with the blade, it won't cut you. Don't go the other way. I saw Ken Surfs do it. Oh, and I even cut my neck. Okay, I'm gonna take all these notes. There, see how it's filling up? But when you uh, loosen them a bit, yeah, didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to do two passes, but I want to see how this feels. Okay, they feel the same. Okay, this one felt sharper. The Rite Aid one felt sharper. 
but the results are exactly the same. So let's do a second pass. the grain. I can still hear the feedback. My hair here grows like this. It doesn't go straight down. So I'm kind of going at a 45 degree angle against the grain here, but it works for me. You know Murphy's Law. It's not broken, don't fix it. Okay. Yeah, see, she's clogged. Ah, man, the slime coming. Look at this. That's the aloe. Nicer. Those aloe strips work. How many would a hundred Mach 3 or uh, it's the other one with the seven blades? Man, what would that run? hundred cartridges. Yeah, look at that. Now, I don't know how long that aloe strip will last, but she's working. Yes, you not. That feels BBS. I can st still feel <laughs> that slick aloe on my face. My 30-year-old, uh, no, 85, my 25-year-old, or whatever, Atra Plus Vintage Razors, <laughs> those strips don't still work. <laughs> They're there. And the reason I tried, wanted to try out the Personas is that's what my father-in-law buys. He says, I bought a hundred of them, and they last forever. All right, where are we? Oh, here we are. You can still go into the store today and you can still buy the red cap Old Spice. We're going to use some Old Spice. It's going to piss my wife off. She does not like this, but uh, it's Friday. I've been in all day, all week, all month. We'll piss her off anyway. Whoa. Man, I like that scent. I like the original, but... Hmm. So one nick. Persona gave one nick. I don't know how many are the price for a hundred of those Rite Aids, but those Rite Aids were damn good. They were they felt very sharp. The other ones were milder. The results were the same. So now I guess it's just a matter of cost. I don't know, like I said, individually pack it. Ten ten of these. I you know. There's something to be said about, well, four bucks. Ah, you guys do the math. I'm not going to do the math. It was a hundred of them, $15 ship. Well, there was 10 of them, $5 ship. Now, if you find them on the shelf at Rite Aid, 
no shipping involved, man. So uh, you might be in business. Let me know if you've actually, I'd appreciate it if you let me know if you've used the Persona or the Rite Aid, or if you've seen the Rite Aid in the stores, uh, how it went with you. But I could definitely see that if I was shaving my head with one of these, I wouldn't really have to see what I was doing. And uh, except for one little nick, hey, it should be pretty cool. You're in a hurry, you know, you're in an airport, you're at, you know, you wanna travel. It wouldn't be bad to check one of those in because I certainly would not want to have my DE razor confiscated. Uh, I don't care if they take the Atras, but I'd rather, you know, it's nice. I wish I had the box for this. It's nice. If you guys can find the boxes on eBay, eh, something to think about. Talk too much. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, man. Stay safe. It's, it's scary out there. And we're in here in Huntington Beach and there's a nursing home, 70 people tested positive. Several have passed away. Be careful, man. Be careful. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your subscriptions. We're almost halfway to uh, 19,000. I think we're at 18,400 or something. So uh, I will do a giveaway. We'll have a couple of prizes for that. Big one will be 20,000, man. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it sincerely. Bye for now.